music has a power to connect. Um, unlike, you know, people say smells and tastes and stuff like that, but it's almost like it'll give you like a photographic memory. It will bring you back. Almost never will somebody come in and go, oh, you should listen to this or you should do that. Because I hate going in a record store and they tell me that. It's like, you know, what do you want to listen to? But it, what got me was like it had that typical 60s ooh, ah, and some strings going on. And then his voice kicked in. I was like, whoa. And it blew me away. And it, if you ever get a chance to listen to, if you'd like, not just country, but it has some other stuff going on too. Uh, Carl Ballou is the name. He had a terrible name for, for trying to uh, make it in music, but they actually wanted him to be one of the original outlaws. Is there an artist or sex shop you find, man? No, you know, I've just never been to the Okay. Well, we waited over 30 years for you then. Cool. So you're in, if you're into vinyl, the section is groups, doesn't matter if it's, oh gosh, um, Crosby, Nash & Young, to the Monkees, to Beatles, McCartney and Wings, Simon and Garfunkel. Once it grows or reaches a certain point, you're like, well, you know, you either cut it off and toss it or whatever. So I didn't, I would, you know, cut it and have it donated. Um, to a charity and everything like that. And so I just kept up with that and everything. And it gets mocked all the time and, and I'm fine. I'm, my masculinity is stronger than my hair, I, I assure you. I call it a skullet. I've been told it's a high-low, but I think that's just being kind. And I, I get razzed about it all the time and it's cool. It's like, I really don't care. But then there's a lot of people that really like it and that's fine too. The name throws a lot of people, and I think if I had decided to change the name to something else a long time ago, it'd be great. In fact, um, for the longest time, I would get so many calls, and I still get some calls that way, where they wanted to tra they thought the name Recorded Memories meant transferring music or transferring data onto something else. But the original owner, uh, Rick, I liked his idea for the name, and so I never changed it. I never had to put Richard up across it in some manner that way. So um, I kept it, but Recorded Memories, to me and to, to Rick, meant the same thing. It's like you hear a song and it takes you back. I can listen to a song and be driving up Highway 1, uh, it can take you back to an X, it can take you back to happy times, bad times, whatever. It's almost like it'll give you like a photographic memory, it will bring you back. And so the name Recorded Memories, that's what it's about.